is um, Black Mac coming at you live and direct. I thought I'd take an opportunity to, um, I'm beginning the, not initial construction, but I've finalized what I will be building and not necessarily how I will be, build, how I will be building it. Um, I'll rely on creative instincts later on, um, but I wanted to take an opportunity in a moment to recognize um, uh, planning out the, your entire build. I know that in my list, um, what I'm going to have, I'm going to have four banner poles, four power fists, champions with power fists. I'm going to have eight meltas, and the rest will be filled with um, regular space marines. Um, so, like with the regular space marines, I'll be able to have a little bit of creative freedom. You know, I can, uh, what I've got here is a guy with a short a sword and a shield what i have here is another guy with a pair of bolters you know doing you know crazy action hero stance um i have here a guy with um a bolt pistol and a shield you know they will they'll all be in the robes um and I'm saying I have a little bit more creative freedom than with the Meltas because with the Meltas, they have a Melta gun, uh, you know, always. Um, I will do a couple conversions. I'm going to change this um, Blastmaster uh, or, you know, this um, Emperor's Children weapon into um, into a Melta. But, you know, it, it, it relative, it's going to be relatively limited on the creativity. Um, I... Now another thing that I want to mention is that I've I've gone through, and if you can see on the bottoms, um, I I've got it labeled um, what I'm going to put them in, and I did this um, because of the Dark Angels Veteran set. Um, it has five robes per box, and there are basically three molds. So you have two running, and then you have one, or then you have. Um, two other molds where they're just standing but as you can see um, they're a little bit different there are there is one per box of this and two per, of this so uh, and then what else I did I had to go through and carve off the Imperial Eagles where the robe was open um, so uh, and then a couple of them were closed so I made sure when I went through that I was trying to um, keep everything even so if you notice here with the power fists I have one standing with the little wing on the side uh, with a closed um, chest um, one with an open chest uh, then I have a running with an open chest and a running with a closed chest this will just um, keep the figs from looking too much alike I mean I'm, I'm limited uh, but uh, it's the best I can do uh, another situation same thing um, you know, running with open chest, closed with, or, uh, standing still with closed chest, standing still with open chest, and running with closed chest. Um, like I said, just to, um, to try and make things so they don't look too, too similar. Um, I haven't made up my mind on the banner poles yet. This was, um, uh, early stage. I don't think it's going to work out. I'm not liking it too much. Um... I've used a lot of bits from the uh, the Chaos Knight, the new plastic Chaos Knights, um, and I've ordered some other bits um, on online from eBay, uh, the possessed shoulders, and then um, so uh, I'll give you a complete list of all the different bits that I've used and stuff like that. So my overall goal is to make a really unique army um, that is very tournament competitive. Um, you know, so when I go and lose, <laughs> I have something to feel really shitty about. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, kind of. So, um, well, more to come. Later.